Hi guys. I've uh, been at Mum's today, thankfully, and uh, brought the ladies' bike home, um, which I'm not going to do yet. There's a reason why I'm not doing this one yet. I'm going to do that one instead. <laughs> um, this one needs a lot more work done to it. This pretty much I just need to throw a handlebar in it with brake levers and gear shifters on and reconnect all the cables and put a seat in it. Done. This needs a seat. It needs all new, all new everything really. <laughs> new back wheel. The wheels are fine on that one. Um, and this one's actually in slightly rougher condition on the frame as well. So I figured I'd use this one for parts. Because by the time I've taken the parts off I want, it's going to near enough um, be the frame, and that will allow me just to uh, tie the frame up. Um, and I've got a feeling I'd probably stand a better chance at getting rid of this one. Uh, so yeah, pretty much a bunch of stuff is coming off that one, going on this one. Actually, I could have used the grip shift. Seven speed. Well, I can always swap the free wheels over. That's not a problem. Hopefully, so long as they'll come off the wheels, of course. That's an alloy frame. It's in good, reasonable condition. I'll say, not good condition. We've got a um, duct taped uh, cycle computer sensor on the frame there. Uh, I've got wheels. So that, cause I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but the spokes are rusty on that one. Um, but I've got front wheels. So basically I'm going to use the tyres, possibly the brake calipers, or the V-brakes. Uh, maybe not the actual handlebar, but most likely the brake levers, grips and grip shifts. Because these cables should be perfectly long enough to fit that, because it's a smaller frame. So, um, yeah, I should be able to uh, make it fit. Because all the gears and everything move on this, so... Yeah, recycle some parts. But that back wheel is buckled to hell. Plus, I'm actually considering putting these mudguards on my Integra. <coughs> Just so I've got a bike with um, mud guards that go pretty much around the wheel like that. Might be a little bit better in the wet than the um, plastic ones I've got on the Claude Butler. Uh, I was also thinking of um, attaching the dynamo lights. Maybe not the front one unless I can clean it, but... Yeah, that'll clean. It's only some green stuff where it's been near a tree or something that'll clean off. But yeah, that's the uh, plan. But I think for tomorrow, the first job I've got to do is change the wheel in the black active suspension bike, because I found one at Mum's, one left I had, and it's straight, so once that's in, I can actually take a photo of that and get that up tomorrow. Uh, then I'm going to tackle the python as soon as I've found a handlebar. I'm not, not, not going to worry about the seat yet, that'll be the last thing to worry about. But, uh, should actually have a seat post that will fit that fine. And it looks like it's the same size as the Saracen anyway, so I know I've got one to fit the Saracen, so I've got one to fit that. Um, if you're wondering where I got this from, Biggles gave it to me. He bought it down the dump just for the, well, the trigger shifters, that's where the handlebar is, not there? It had trigger shifters on, like the ones on the Saracen. Um, and he could just snip through the cables. Most these cables look pretty rusty anyway. Well the brake cable would have been usable. But these gear cables there are um, yeah. so rusty they've actually left a rust stain on the frame which I hope I can get out. If not, oh well. <laughs> um but yeah. Oh. I think I'll change that chain guard on there or just leave it off when I change the um hang on a dicky minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Well, that's a seven speed freewheel on that. Ah, so that was a 21 speed. Well, that's a bonus. Although, like I said, I may um, just either take that train guard off here or. Uh -oh. oh, it's a cable. I thought that was a snap smoke. Uh, yeah, let's see the caliber. Might clean, but. I might as well just swap them for that one, then worry about this one later, like I said. Um, I think as this is sort of like a a large child's bike, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Sort of like, you know, 12, 13, 14 and up. Or, unless you're a short-ass adult like me, because I can ride that comfortably. There is 26-inch wheels in that, but it's just a small frame. So it is designed for, like... Well, like I said, teenage and up. Um, or short ass adults like me. <laughs> yeah, so change the front wheel, change the tyres. I'll clean the hub up in this one. I could just swap the wheel. But I do have quick release front wheels downstairs, so I'd be more inclined to put that on, I think. Um, Because I know what kids can be like. Oh, it's got quick release this and quick release that. So, yeah. ooh. Ooh. This has even got a mount on the frame to put a um, rear disc brake on it. So if you'd actually change the forks, the forks that have the bracket on, because these ones don't. You show me the rest of that. I wouldn't jump on it in case it moved, Nemo. Okay. You pissed off because I put that in your way. I've got nowhere else to put it. That is actually pretty light as well. I will say that it's quite a light bike. That is absolutely ideal for a kid or perhaps someone that uh, doesn't have a lot of strength you know, for medical reasons or whatever. You know, not all of us are Mr. Muscle. I'm not Mr. Muscle. I'm certainly not Mr. Muscle. Mr. Fat, maybe. Mr. Fat, but definitely not Mr. Muscle. Uh, well, <coughs> my boss to be has just messaged me. Well, oh, it's a voice map, voice message. Uh, just for her privacy, I will not listen to that just yet. Oh, while I'm here, um, I've got a set of red LED battery-operated lights running along here. There's a lot of red. There's red tinsel, red bells, and red LEDs. Um, but yesterday, when I went to turn them on, I noticed the batteries had mysteriously gone completely dead. There was no life in them whatsoever. So I changed them for these ones just to see if it was the batteries, and they lit up fine, so I left them, left them on. Um, then when I went to bed last night, I turned them off, went into the bedroom, you know, sat watching TV for a bit, come back through, because obviously the lounge light was off, I noticed these were glowing very faintly, and I thought, well that's weird, I turned them off. And I did, I checked, the switch was off, so I flicked the switch to turn them on, and they came up nice and bright, so I turned them off, and they went all dim, not turned off, so I thought, well that's weird. Must be a little short or something in the switch. So um, I took the batteries out so they wouldn't go flat. I then noticed a clear liquid type substance all over the battery um, pack. So I'm guessing if the batteries that died, randomly died, they were perfectly good and they just were dead when I went to turn them on, which I think is likely. Um, had leaked battery acid, so what I've done, and I'm guessing there might be a bit of a chance that might have been shortened out on the switch, so I've just um, brought a pot of water through here and uh, I've given it a rinse out just to rinse any ash, you know, because I was literally tipped up like this and uh, the clear substance, which I presume was battery acid, just dripped out. It wasn't water. 
was a little bit thicker than water, or it looked a bit thicker than water anyway, and uh, it wasn't actually totally clear, come to think of it, it, did, it was a bit um, cloudy, so I'm presuming battery acid. Uh, but that's not the only set of um, of these battery LED lights I've had that have done that to a pair of batteries. Um, I'm not sure if it's the batteries, because... Um, although it might be, actually. Because if I remember correctly, I've got the other set on the tree. It still works. Um, but if I remember correctly, I used the same batteries in there when that leaked. But I've never had those batteries leak in a set of bicycle lights. Um, and I've used those batteries from QDs for years. They're the um, cheaply ones. They're these ones. I am going to stick... Oh. Uh, yeah, it's this one as a gooey substance. Uh, won't bin it. I think I found the problem. These were the original batteries in there, so as these are covered in it, then it's those ones that have leaked. So I'm going to put them in the bin and then I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah, it's, it's not going to show up on camera, but there is sort of like a... It's like a syrup. That's the best way I can describe it. Like a clear syrup. Just walked into a stool. Just, uh, my hand rinse off, so I don't... There we go. It's not much. But, uh, I'll leave the battery pack open on those lights, and hopefully by morning it should be dry. Uh, and that should work fine. That's strange. Only ever had it happen on LED Christmas lights. I think I paid what ninety nine p for these because they were in um, the Christmas sale after Christmas, so they were half price. They should have been one ninety nine, and I paid ninety nine p for them, <laughs> which is why I've got quite a few sets of them now. Um, but it doesn't look like anywhere's um, stocked the style with this battery pack, at least. Um, I haven't seen any anywhere. I've seen them with the ones that take three AA batteries. Okay, yeah, it's just really weird that it's only ever done it on those um, battery LED lights. I've got a pair in the window running a pair of Panasonic batteries. Are we still working? Can't see nothing in there. No, there's no uh, fluid or anything. I haven't noticed it on any of the other sets either. They're still functioning fine. Spooky. Well, maybe not spooky, but definitely weird. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, so I've got jobs for tomorrow booked. Hoping I'll take that one back downstairs to do it. It'll be easy. Uh, but I'll probably take the parts off I need from this one up here. No. Pardon me. Um, don't need dryers, do I? Nope. Don't need dryers. All the other tools I need are downstairs, including the Allen keys, I believe. Yeah, I um, may change that stem for a better one. If I have one, if not, I'll just clean it up. <coughs> Take those two rusty bolts out. I may even um. I can find some clean ones, I may include like a bottle cage on there as well because I've got plenty hanging around. Take this light bracket off. Because uh, I do actually have a light to go on that. <laughs> it's the exact same light and bracket that's on the um, Integra. And uh, I think I said when I did that video, if I did it, I can't remember, I may have deleted it. I changed my mind. <laughs> but yeah, um, I had two of the same light, but only one bracket. Well, now I've got a bracket each. My bottom has spoken. Tyler's uh, had it on here. Look. Bald. I don't know if they're going to hold air. Probably not, because the um, rim tape is hanging out the side of the tire. Front one. Might. 
But uh, what I'll do, I'll take some steel wool to that wheel. That's holding air. Well, both this one holds air as well, so I'll use the tire tube from this one. But oh yeah, I was going to put a quick release wheel in there, weren't I? Oh well, do that tomorrow. I've got to take wheels out of both anyway, so. Yeah, I'm hoping these mud guards will fit my Integra. I don't know. Um, I've got dynamos and whatnot. The dynamo on this one's knackered. Well, the spring is, because it doesn't. It's supposed to lock open, but. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> it probably still actually works and generates a current, but. Whoopsie! Catch the bike. Three wheels, nice. Uh, this needs a seat and a seat post clamp. I don't have one. I do need that light bracket because I do have the light in the box and it works. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that my Integra might look all right with these mud guards. Well, if I get a chance tomorrow, I'll take them downstairs and sort of sit them on the, the Integra and just see how it looks. All terrain. Scirocco. Scirocco? Sirocco? I don't know. I'm not sure where. It's kind of that rack has had at the bent look. So, if I want to put a shopping rack or a baggage rack on it, I've got plenty in the cupboard, so I can change that. But that's bent, rusted, and yeah. so that'll definitely come off and just be scrapped. Oops, sounds like I may need to go use the toilet. So uh, I'll end the video here. It's going to be quite a short one. There's not much going on at Mum, so not a lot to talk about. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.